Although Windows 8 replaced the old Start menu with a Start screen, the Start menu is back and better than before in Windows 10. Let's take a look by clicking the Start button. Most of the Start menu is taken up by the Live Tiles. In addition to working as links to their respective apps, Live Tiles will also display information from that app. Mail messages will be summarized in the Mail Apps tile, while the Weather Apps tile will show your weather forecast. Up in the upper left is your picture and username. Click it. And it pops up a menu where you can lock your computer, sign out, or switch users. Below that is a list of your most used apps. In the bottom left, there's a link to the File Explorer, a link to the Settings app, a link to your Power Options, and a link to All Apps view. Click All Apps. Every app on your computer is listed here. Just scroll through them until you find what you're looking for. Any app from this list could also be pinned to the Start menu as a tile, and some can use Live Tiles as well. After right-clicking the app, select Pin to Start. The Calculator app is added to the Start menu. If there's a Live Tile we like, but want to see a bit more information, like with the Weather app, we can make a tile bigger. Right-clicking the tile brings up another menu, where we could remove it from the Start menu, or turn off the Live Tile. But instead, select Resize, and select Wide. Now the Weather app displays a bit more info with its extra space. Next, you'll notice a gap between tile groups, where you can add a group title. If you want to change or add one, you can just click the space and enter a title. Finally, if you don't like how the tiles are arranged, you can move them around. Click and drag this tile down to the Utilities group. It moves to the other group, which moves up to take over the empty space. 